friends. How many of you here are vegetarian? Everybody. Lovely. Quite a small crowd. So am I, since birth. And I thought that being one preached my eternal loyalty to animals. Now it was back in 1994, and I was a podgy little seven-year-old, back home at my grandparents' place for the summer. And for the very first time, I was allowed something. I was allowed to have a meal as an adult. And you know what that meant? That I could sit down, cross-legged on the ground, <laughs> bend over, and have my meals. No more mother chasing, Sandhya, have this, Sandhya, have that, Sandhya, have this, on her own timelines. Mm. I got to eat whatever I wanted, however I wanted, and <coughs> how much ever quantity I wanted. My excitement knew no bounds. I immediately went and got myself a clean spot on the ground. Did a little bit of stretching for the hour long <coughs> that I knew that I would spend there. <laughs> I was waiting for my mother or my grandmother to bring all the curries close to my easy grasp and of course the papad. And then I felt an itch on my back. <laughs> and the itch wouldn't go. <laughs> I just washed my hands because I wanted to emulate my grandfather. You know. <laughs> <laughs> to do something about it. Was that a sound that I just felt under me? <laughs> <laughs> Chill ran up my spine and I immediately got up. Huh? And there was a big grey rat exactly where I was sitting. That's coming away to find another lone dark corner. Needless to say, I never sat down to eat after that. Until my wedding, when I got the place completely inspected. <laughs> Fast forwarding a few years later to my college years. It had been a full 24 hours since I had had my last meal. Now for those of you who have not lived in hostels, ragi burger with beetroot and spinach would probably be the best food in the world as compared to mess food. And that previous day, they had this weird yellow gravy which I just couldn't get myself to eat. So my friend and I, we thought, let's go to the food court and have something interesting. Went to the food court that day and ordered ourselves gigantic portions of food. Masala dosa, pizza, cheese sandwich. And once the food came, I put it all on my plate and also grabbed a generous spoonful of my very favorite ketchup kept on the table. Smeared all of my snacks with it. And I went on Ravaging through it. I just feel something in my mouth. A buzz. A flutter. What on earth was that? <coughs> and there, there were two giant mosquitoes. I immediately went to look for the container which housed the ketchup to see that the entire container was filled with mosquitoes. I called the waiter and I said, what is this? And he just, ah ma, that is very normal ma. He just took a, took a spoonful with the mosquitoes aside and said, ah, ah. <laughs> Needless to say, I have not had ketchup since. <laughs> In my third year of college, I was very excited. Now I used to keep singing very regularly in various college events. So one of the biggest bands in the, in the university had wanted me to sing a few songs with them for the upcoming fest. And I was excited because this fest was to take place in another neighboring university. So my two friends and I would be there to cheer me up. We took an auto to go to this university. And as always, I like to be on the outside. You know the, the person who gets in the last into the auto? I love that spot. <laughs> we were sitting there, chit-chatting, enjoying, and we stopped at the light. And I didn't know that we had an audience. I was cracking a joke to my friends and they were laughing when I felt a slap on my face <laughs> with a putrid smell that was vaguely familiar. When I looked to my left, I saw that Mr. Mumu himself had swathed cow dung on my face. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Mr. Momo. The cow which was standing at the light had very nicely flapped its tail, which just whipped me about my feet with the remnants of its shit. <laughs> Needless to say, I have never since ridden on the outside of an auto shop after. So my friends, whether it be cockroaches in my cupboard or rats in my shoe cabinet, I have always been entertained with these lovely creatures. Now what is the moral of the story, you may ask? I am vegetarian, but believe me, there are times when I want to be an animal killer. <laughs>